Hi, it's Mitch from PickDogs.com here with the free pick in the Nets versus Pelicans NBA matchup on Tuesday, March 19th, 2024. If you like all the free picks we do at Pick Dogs, you'll love our premium picks, our best bets. Use the discount code PICK for 15% off. We also have products meant for people who make big bets, people with big bankrolls looking for that one-on-one concierge-style service. We offer these products. They're just not available on the website, so uh, you got to text the number that's on the screen. So if you make big bets like I do, just text that number. But let's get to this one. Nets taking on the Pelicans. The Nets 26 and 42 on the season. Uh, just four and six in their last 10 and at home 16 and 18. You know, the Nets started the season. It was promising, but boy, you know, just that lack of depth coming up to get them. All it takes is a couple of injuries to start and uh, you really start to feel that. And I think, you know, when you look across the NBA, I say this all the time, I think most guys that can start in the NBA are just, you know, freaks of nature, absolute superstars. So not a lot of drop off from team to team. And I think that it just really goes to those bench players. And I know that, you know, there are certain players that are the elite players, but it seems that there's just more and more of these just superstar athletes across the NBA. I believe that the NBA players are the best athletes in the world. I mean, try running the court for 48 minutes one day when you got it, when you got an hour to kill. Nothing uh, easy about that. And I tell you, on the other side of it, we got the Pelicans, 41 and 26 on the season, 21 and 13 on the road, 18, 13 and 2 against the number on the road, playing pretty nicely right now, 7 and 3 in their last 10 games, and 6, 3 and 1 against the number. You know, I think that the Pelicans, of course, a lot to prove to themselves and to everybody else. Because, you know, we've seen this being as a young team for a while now and, uh, you know, a team that certainly has all kinds of potential. We haven't seen the potential come together because every year it seems they get injured, you know, and Zion Williamson gets injured. But not this year. This is this is the first year that they've kind of held it together. And this is where they are. You know, at least they'll get a true barometer of where they are and what they need to do to get to the next level. Because I don't think they're at that quite at that level right championship level but they're probably they're probably on their way i think you know what we saw in the first meeting of these two teams was that the pelicans are just way ahead of the nets they played in new orleans back on january 20 uh, january 2nd excuse me and it was 112 85 all pelicans in that one the pelicans offense is very good they shoot the three 38.1%. 38.1%. Of course, they've got some great shooters on this team, Ang- uh, Ingram, McCollum, and friends. And of course, uh, you know, just regular high percentage shots as well with Zion, 48.8% from the floor. The Nets don't guard the perimeter well at all, 23rd best in the NBA. But, um, you know, they're going to be fighting on the boards too with this Pelicans team that is pretty hungry right now. Pelicans are the best in the NBA at guarding the perimeter. The Nets are middle of the pack team. And when it comes to, to overall defense from the floor, well, the Pelicans are right up near the top there as well. And the Nets, 27th best in the NBA in shooting percentage. This one shapes up to be a long night for the Brooklyn Nets. I'm going to take the Pelicans, and that's going to be my free pick. Of course, by doing your picks, putting your bets in, use our free betting tools at sportschatplace.com. 100% free, and they'll help put you on the most favorable bets on the board today.